Everything good, everything bright, everything holy, everything right, everything worthy, all that I should. And all that's well, cause I'm gonna dwell. Oh,
Praise you, Lord. We praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just the mention, you might not think that there's any hope for your situation, but just the mention of His name, hallelujah, all those troubles can seem to disappear. Amen? God will come on the scene and Jesus can make the difference. Amen? Do you believe it tonight? Amen? I don't want you to uh, have your chin to your chest, but I want you to know you have uh, your help and your help comes from the Lord. Amen? Amen. So don't uh, look weary. Don't look sad. But look to Jesus. Amen? He is our help. Praise the Lord. If you have your Bibles, I want you to turn to the book of Matthew. The book of Matthew chapter 17. Praise the Lord. I just want to give Him the glory, give Him the praise, even in the good times and even in the bad times. We're to praise the Lord. Amen? And I know sometimes that's not easy, but you know what? We can receive the victory and God will give us the power to overcome. Praise the Lord. So it says that we overcome the devil by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. So each time that you testify and you give God praise, you're overcoming the devil. Amen. So I want to be an overcomer tonight. Amen? Amen. A lot of people say, well, I'm just an old sinner saved by grace. Yes, you are a sinner saved by grace. But uh, Jesus brings things to new. Amen? Old things are passed away. Behold, everything Praise becomes God. new. Praise God. And you can have the victory through Christ Jesus, your Lord. Amen. Matthew chapter 7. I'm just going to read verse 20. Verse 20, and, and Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, If ye have a faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Praise the Lord. Let me read that again. If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall, re and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Now I want you to think on that tonight. Think on what uh, it seems impossible to, to you. With God, all things are possible. Praise God. Let's stand on His Word in prayer. Hallelujah. Lord, we're thankful for Your Word, Lord, and we need Your Word. Your Word, God, gives us faith. Hallelujah. And Lord, I just pray, God, that we would take Your Word, and Lord God, that we would stand upon it, and we would be victorious in Christ Jesus our Lord, because we know that our faith is in You, Lord, and we thank You, Lord, for all that You have done and what you're going to do, hallelujah, because you're a good God and you're faithful and you're big and you can do anything. Lord, I pray you'd hide me behind the cross. And Lord, let my words be of you, Lord, I pray. Because I know I can say or do nothing without you, Lord. And I thank you, Lord. I just pray our hearts would be in tune and be open to you, Lord, I pray in your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, and everyone said... Amen. Praise the Lord. As Jesus was speaking here in the Scriptures to His disciples, having faith in God. I want you to have faith in your God. Don't give up on God because God is on the throne tonight. Amen? Amen. Nothing that you uh, can face in this light down here, we have a God that can handle it. Amen? If I, I, I that, that was weak. Now, do you believe that God can handle any situation Amen. in your Amen. life? Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. You know, it helps sometimes when you have an amen corner. It kind of can encourage you along the way. So, you know, don't be backward. Amen. You can, uh, if you believe it, then amen. You can uh, stand on it and uh, let it be known. Amen. Praise the Lord. The gift of faith. You know, as it says in the Scriptures, it is one of the gifts of the Spirit. 
And we need faith in our lives. And I want to have the gifts in operation in my life. But you know, God wants us to have faith in Him, not doubting, not looking uh, to the things of this world or looking to what you can accomplish, but no, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Hallelujah. It's because of Jesus Christ we can have faith. As the scripture says here, because of their unbelief. Because see, they were praying for this little boy that was bound by a devil. And they prayed and they didn't understand why he wasn't set free. And Jesus said, because of your unbelief. God, don't let me have unbelief in my heart. But let me have faith in you. And let me have the gifts of the Spirit in operation in my life. That is what God has called us to be. And He has called us to have the gifts of the Spirit. And one of those gifts, you can read all the gifts of the Spirit in Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 12. I just want to go over those gifts of the Spirit. If you don't know them, you need to know them. And if we don't have them, we need to be seeking God for the gifts of the Spirit. Spirit of word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge, and then another faith by the same Spirit. There's that faith. Faith in God. Hallelujah. And another the gifts of healing, working of miracles, prophecy, discerning of spirits, divers kinds of tongues, and interpretations of tongues. But I want to talk about the gift of faith. We all need to have the gift of faith in operation in our lives. Why? Because without faith, it is impossible to please God. Now, how many want to please the Lord tonight? We can think of all the people that we want to please or maybe that we look up to. But the main person that we should be focused on tonight is God. Because without faith, it is impossible to please God. Your faith is what brought you into the house of the Lord tonight. Faith was what God can do for you. Hallelujah. But we've got to remember that what it says in the Scriptures, Paul declares in 1 Corinthians 13, And though I have the gift of prophecy, and understand all mysteries, and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I could remove mountains, if I have not charity... I am nothing. See, we've got to remember we can have all the gifts of the Spirit, but we've got to remember and we can have all, what it says, though I have all faith, if we don't have love, we have nothing. And you are nothing. So we've got to remember through our faith that God has given us that we have love. Hallelujah. Where does that love come from? It comes from Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ gives us love. It says in Galatians 5.16, this is our faith expressing itself through love. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but faith which worketh by love. If you don't have God's love in your heart, you don't have nothing. You've got to have the love of Jesus Christ working in your life. And there's one thing in my experience that I, you know, a couple years ago, and I, I knew, I've known the Lord. I got saved as a young girl. I became a Sunday school teacher. Dad asked me to be a Sunday school teacher when I was 14 years old. And then I would bring the little children up here. He always liked it when you brought the kids up here and we would sing songs with them. How many remember that? Amen. And, uh, and, and then all through my life, you know, and I, I will truly say I believe God delivered me from a lot of things that the devil... You know, he tried to take my life with sickness, 
But there was a lot of other things that I believe he kept me from. Amen? Amen. And uh, But I, I, I received the Lord in my life at a young age and I served the Lord. But uh, I, I believe that God wants us to go deeper. He don't want us to stay in the same place. God has more and more and more. Don't ever think that God doesn't have something more for you. Just as we're talking here, gifts of the Spirit. He has things that He wants to give you. And the main important thing He wants to give you is love. And when I had this experience, and I'll just say it happened at camp meeting. So I am extra thankful for the campgrounds, for the camp meeting that we had because it changed my life. So I encourage you to be there because God will touch you and you need God's touch in your life. Amen? Amen. And uh, But anyway, when God touched me and was doing a work in me, if there's anything that I will say, I just felt this overwhelming love. Amen. Not just for, what he, for me, but I started feeling it for people in my family. I started feeling love for people that maybe I didn't so much you know, worth my favorite. God was giving me a love for everyone. Because if there's anything, God loves everybody. Amen. He cares for everyone. Even the most dirtiest. Even the most stinkiest. Uh, and I know sometimes it's hard to reach out to people like that. But God loves them. And God wants us to have a love for everyone and that we would share that love. So when we can have that faith in God, hallelujah, that faith that we have, it comes through love. God working in us and God doing something in our lives that we so desperately need in this day that we're living in. I want you to know that we are living in the last days. These are the days that we need to get close to God and we need to stay in tune to His Word and we need to pray and we need to have all the more of the faith in God. Don't lose your faith in God. God is with you and He is in your life and He is in your situation. And you've got to turn it over to the Lord because God will take care of His own. Amen? He will take care of His own. Hallelujah. In Hebrews 11.3 it says, Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the Word of God. See? That's why we've got to, no matter what comes our way, no matter what situation comes our way, it's by the Word of God. Nothing, hallelujah, can stand. Only through this Word is it going to stand. So you've got to know no matter what your situation, what you're facing in your life, the troubles that you're going through, you've got to lean on the Word of God. It was framed by the Word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. We have power in our faith tonight. Amen? We have faith. If we have faith, we can say, as Jesus said here, just a grain. When you think of how tiny a grain of mustard seed is, that's why he used the illustration of how small. Just a tiny bit is all you need. And you can say to that mountain, be thou removed. Don't let nothing stand in your way through the Word of God because we have the power and we have authority in Christ Jesus. In Luke 9, 11, Jesus said to His disciples, then He called His 12 disciples together and He gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases. Now, when we have faith in God, we, I, I don't 
want to just have say I have faith, but I want it to be in, in action. Amen. I want to say when I pray for someone and I have the power through the authority of Jesus Christ, it's not by me and what I, you know, anything that I have, it's all through Jesus. But I want to have faith that when I pray, those mountains will be removed. Those people will be healed and lives will be transformed. So you've got to believe that as Bill was singing that song. I believe. What a powerful message to believe and have faith in God just as Jesus did when He turned the water into wine and when He multiplied the loaves and the fishes and He stilled the tempest and said, Peace be still. And, he, and when he took authority and he cast out devils and he raised the dead. We have that same authority and we have that same power because Jesus gave it to us tonight. But how? Through our faith in him. Through the gifts, one of the gifts of the Spirit, the gift of faith. Hallelujah. I want to you to, to grasp that tonight and to know to have faith in God. When you think of the story of Peter and John as they came to the temple with the gate called Beautiful and there was the lame man asking for alms. Peter said unto him, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. It took faith. It's faith in God. And I want to have that kind of faith in my life that we will see the lame to walk. We will see bodies be made whole. In the name of Jesus. Sick bodies be healed. Hallelujah. You know, as when Peter saw it, he answered unto the people, because he saw, he said, Ye men of Israel, why marvel at this? Or why look ye so earnestly on us? As though by our own power or holiness we had made this man to walk? The God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, the God of fathers, hath glorified His Son Jesus, whom ye delivered up and denied Him in the presence of Pilate. And when He was determined to let Him go, but ye denied the Holy One and the just and desired a murderer to be granted unto you and killed the Prince of Life, whom God hath raised from the dead, where are we, our witnesses? Now listen to this. He said, In His name, through faith, in His name hath made this man strong, whom ye see and know. Yea, the faith in, what, in which is by Him hath given Him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. The faith that they had. When we see our faith, we will see mountains be moved. When we, when we grasp hold of what Christ has done. Why? What has Christ died, done for us? He died for, for you and me. That we can have faith in Him. And we can know that He has all power in His hands. Hallelujah. So your circumstance might look dim tonight. Or maybe you're, you think your faith is low. Don't let your faith be low. Grasp hold of the Word of God. And don't look unto your circumstance, but look unto God and look to the Word of God. And He will give you the victory. Amen? Amen. And especially when you look down of all times past. When you think of all the things, you know, that God, well, you'd say, oh, I've never seen a lame man be healed. But we've seen God's mighty power. We've seen God do great things. It's why you're sitting in the pews tonight. It's why I'm standing behind this sacred desk. The power of God and having faith to believe that nothing will stand in our way. And as Paul declared in Galatians 2, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, 
I live by the faith. Faith in what? He said, faith of the Son of God who loved me and he gave himself for me. Hallelujah. Jesus paid the price. And now we will stand in faith and we will believe that nothing will stand in our way. But we've got to know that we've got to put our trust in Him and we've got to stay close to the Lord. Our faith sometimes comes down and, and you know, you might say, well, I'm low in faith. Well, are you being, have you been close to the Lord in your prayer life? Are you reading the Word of God? Are you meditating? Are you spending time in His presence? You know, finding a place to worship Him, to lift up His name and to magnify Him. That's why Jesus said in John 15, If ye abide in Me, and My words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Are we taking a hold of of what this word says? Anything. If you grasp hold of me, if you stay close, we've got to stay in close contact with the Lord. If you're not spending any contact, if you're not taking the time to have sweet fellowship with the Lord, your faith isn't going to be strong. It's just a plain, simple facts, isn't it? You've got to stay close to the Lord. Receiving His instructions. Letting Him exercise His faith through you. You say, well, God can use me. Yes, He can use you. Let your faith come alive. And know that God will give you the power to overcome. And to ask God, give me faith. Don't let there be any unbelief. But let me stand on the Word of God and stand on His Word as He says in this Scripture. We will abide in Him. And we will take His words, hallelujah, and they will abide in us. And we will have the victory in our lives. Can you say amen tonight? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's stand in the house of God. Everything good, everything bright, everything holy, everything right, everything worthy, all that I should.